it's mostly technology glitches that create the stress around online learning. But um, I've had a very positive experience with it. And I think my students have had a positive experience. I think the instructional design team is always there. If you ask any questions, if you have any difficulty, they are there. And I think the SUNY uh, online help desk, I think they're just amazing people. You know, when we had Angel and when we had Blackboard, I like the timings. You know, they are, I think they open till 10 at night or, you know, they open over the weekends and you call them only one time. I did not get somebody who was really willing to be helpful, but I've called them many, many times and they are just an absolutely extraordinary team. I, I can't say enough about the support and, and perhaps that's one of the reasons why I'm so excited about online learning. The support is there, it's phenomenal. We have an instructional resources center and I have never had a problem that they weren't right on top of that they didn't walk me through and that they didn't bring me to the next level. And I believe that if you're learning new technology and you have the fabulous support, it makes you much more confident and not only confident, but I'm excited that I've embraced that technology. And it's because I've had people sit and believe me, they have sat with me and they've walked me through it. So there are some things, for example, we use, I used Collaborate last year. And to set up the old Collaborate was a little bit of work. And I was astounded at, about how much knowledge the instructional resource staff had and how they took that, that information and trained me to be comfortable with it. So when a little problem arose, I knew how to address it. The, the big thing I think about online learning is that you have to have the, the dedication to want to do it well and that you need support. You can't do it completely alone. You know, we're supported by a very good staff at Stony Brook in the teaching, learning, and technology. Even though we do a lot of the t technology portions of it ourselves, they're always there for support and they bring in, you know, the uh, technology that we need in order to make things work. Um, you always feel like there's someone supporting you. It's more of a team effort, much more of a team effort on online education, and I like that. There's obviously people on the campus that can assist you. So we have a person who's a media specialist that can help you with how you might want to do recordings or things along those lines. We have an instructional design support team who has an instructional technologist. There's an online librarian, um, and those are relatively new additions to our campus. So much of my course development happened before we had these people and I just keep tweaking it and improving it over time. Um, so when I first started, I was one of the first people on campus that was, was doing this. So I didn't have a lot of support then. Um, but there's much better support in place now. We've had a tremendous um, IT department that you can call up and they can help and, and um, you know, they. The directors for IT had a very much uh, forward vision about this, and so if they knew it was something you were working on, they did everything they could to try to help it be successful. I think I attended more training in the beginning, and then slowly, and now I attend the 20 minute, you know, the chat ones. If I have new faculty that want to teach online, their instructional resources has a fabulous training series that they go through. They have the rubric, the quality rubric, the Oscar. And staff now realize that if they want to teach online, these are the resources that we have that will bring you to that level where you can teach online. So I give them the support to do that and the encouragement. Because I found when we did the Oscar rubric on my course, there were things that I never realized could be enhanced. And now my course is like, wow, I'm so excited that this course is really robust now. I think in some ways, I've always felt I'm a student of online learning. I've never felt that I'm an expert in online learning. I'm just starting out. I'm sure there's so much more out there. And so I always keep asking Ginger, what else is out there? You know, what else should I be doing? Um, so I think it's, it's very interesting. I don't know when I would consider myself. I don't know what needs to happen for me to consider myself as an expert.